my channel i am neha parashar working in a healthcare company and based in germany in last video we saw what the combination products are what type of combination products that we have in us and eu what are the regulatory bodies involved in it and in today's video we will see the regulatory procedure for combination products in us do you remember from last video which center will be the lead reviewer for our application in us for combination products so which center will be the lead reviewer for our application it depends what is the primary mode of action of our product we talked about it in detail in our first video right so suppose if the primary mode of action is a drug the lead center for us will be cdr if the primary mode of action is because of biologics then the cber will be the lead center and if primary mode of action is due to device then the lead center will be cdrs that's what we already covered in the first video and there is a dedicated office in us which is office of combination product or ocp this ocp keeps oversight on these three centers for combination product right so when you know which will be the lead reviewer center for our application it is fine but what if we don't know or we have a confusion in that case we will reach out to ocp and request them to help us with the decision the procedure by which we reach out to ocp is called request for designation or rft process it doesn't mean that you just simply reach out to ocp and request them that dear ocp can you please tell us which will be the lead center for our application no you have to first decide on your own because you know the mode of action of your product better than anyone else right so you have to make this assessment and reach out to ocp with your proposal you tell them your proposal that why do you think that this should be the lead reviewer for applic your application you provide them with all the information with this application which will help them to assess if they agree with your proposal or not right okay the ocp makes their assessment based on the assignment algorithm this assignment algorithm has three steps in first step they will first make the assessment based on primary mode of action that we already know right but if they are not able to decide what will be the primary mode of action and there is still a confusion then there is a second step the second step or second layer in this they will see which center has already reviewed the similar application in past okay so based on that they will assign the review center if they are still not able to decide then they will go to the third step or the third layer what is that as a third step they will see which center has the most experience with respect to safety and efficacy evaluation of such kind of product and they will assign center based on this criteria so this is the assignment algorithm which ocp uses to decide which center will be the lead center for your applications review okay now you will ask me neha how this rfd process work and what are the timelines for this rfd process yeah so i will explain that once you submit your rfd process to ocp each relevant center that is cdr cber or cdrh they will review your rfd application after review they will give a memo to office of combination product whether they are agreeing to your proposal or not after which office of combination product makes a final decision and they will communicate that with us um and this this decision will be communicated to us in form of a designation letter this entire process takes 60 days of time if within 60 days before they issued you the designation letter if you change your mind and want to make a new proposal there is a possibility that you can withdraw your application but once ocp issues you the designation letter this is a legally binding okay so you have to follow it if you agree with ocp's designation it is fine but if you don't agree then don't worry there is a possibility that within 15 days you can reach out to them for reconsideration you can't provide any new data for this reconsideration why because they made their decision based on what you provided to them initially right you can't come at last minute and ask them to change their decision because now you have brought new data or new fact on the table right so you have to be bit careful when you are preparing your rft application so basically when you ask them to change their mind they can change their decision or they can stick to the same decision right we don't know but at least we have this option to negotiate with ocp to reconsider their decision on this designation yes 
also one thing which i would like to highlight to you is that there is an option that even before submitting your rfd application you have this option of pre rfd meeting yes where you can discuss with ocp about your intention that why you want to submit this rfd application where you want their support and all right you can get your answer even sometime during this pre rfd meeting so meaning you need not to go through the formal rfd process since meetings are non binding and not as formal as rfd application process right so i suggest that we should take opportunity of this pre rfd meetings as sometimes we can avoid the form formal rfd procedure if everything gets shorted during this meeting right there is a specific format what you have to submit for this pre rfd meeting package how to prepare this what are the timelines and everything there is a clear guidance available from ocp so you can refer to that guidance for your pre rfd meetings preparation if you want to know more about it just let me know in the comment section i can prepare a separate detailed video on this pre rfd meeting request So now, once you know which will be the lead center for your combination products application, you prepare your dossier and submit it to the relevant lead center accordingly for review. Right? Your dossier is then reviewed as per the standard timeline and process for dossier review. So this was all about the regulatory procedure for combination product in US. I hope it's clear to you. And in my next upcoming video, we will discuss what is the regulatory procedure for the combination product application in EU. Where we will also talk about this notify body, their role and everything because they are part of this EU application process, right? But before we end this video, do you know what is notify body? If you know the answer then let me know in the comment section if not then don't worry we'll discuss that in the next upcoming videos till then let's